Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Andrew Chrysler teaching EE3325 at Idaho State University. In this video, I'll continue a discussion of a previous video where we are looking to find uh, an expression for the magnetic field H at a point due to a uh, infinitely long surface of, of charge uh, that has a width uh, of zero to W. So in the previous video, we found an integral expression, and you can watch that video if you would like. And we found this integral expression. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve that integral expression. So this is a simplified integral expression for the magnetic field. We see that we have the magnetic field is going to be in the x and z direction when using the Cartesian coordinate system. Um, and we have two integrals, and they look a little bit complicated. So let's see how to solve them so that we could arrive at a final uh, a numerical result or a, a final re result that has no integrals. So first, let's take a note. And um, if you are trying to solve integrals like this, uh, you may be able to solve it by hand. But often, right, you may want to look up a book or go to a website such as Wolfram Alpha. And if you were to do so, you could find results for uh, integrals such as this one, where you integrate from minus infinity to infinity. And we see that if we were to do that with respect to y, uh, we would get this result. And again, recall that we have defined this zp. We used this zp term instead of z, just to remember that zp is the point of interest for our magnetic field. So we are not, we do not want to accidentally integrate over this variable. Fortunately, we don't need to worry about this because we found that our integral expressions were dx dy. Um, but you may solve more difficult problems or other problems which do have a dz term. So for whatever point of interest you have, if it's not moving, do be sure to make uh, separate it, call it something like zp so you know you don't integrate over it. So we can take both of these expressions and both of them have this integral uh, from y minus infinity to infinity with similar constants. So we arrive at this. This allows us to simplify this into um, down to, into one integral. So each of these are integrating uh, over dx. Uh, the difference is in the x direction, uh, we do not have any x terms in the numerator, uh, but in the z direction, we do have this x term in the numerator. So they are going to have slightly different uh, integration expressions. So again, take a look at your favorite integral table, solve these in your head on a piece of paper, look up Wolfram Alpha, but you will find that there are um, these two expressions. <clears throat> okay, now actually if I put this into the full screen, you'll see uh, we have this integral from zero to w, and this one is for the x direction. And if you integrate into this, you will get a arctangent expression that you need to evaluate. And when evaluating this, you'll get two arctangent w over zp. And for the z direction, uh, this integral is going to give you a, a natural log result that needs to be evaluated from uh, 0 to w. And when you do this, you can simplify this even further down to natural log of the sum of w squared plus zp squared over zp squared. Okay, so simplifying this even more, we now have an expression for the magnetic field h uh, at this point zp, uh, which is our point of interest. The x direction has a arctangent, the z direction has a natural log. You could perhaps simplify this in a number of different ways, but this is a final result that does not contain any integral expressions. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.